Okay, so here we are at this property. I was just at yesterday warning the guy where it was just coming over the water, like just coming over the edge like a sheet. One inch higher, it's only an inch deep, and it flooded. The garage leveled out, or it is leveling out. I warned them, I told them about this. And this is just, this tide is only supposed to be a little bit higher, but it's a lot higher. They've been exceeding expectations increasingly from eight inches a few days ago up to a foot, and this one might even be more than a foot above expectations. This is it, this is salt water. It's going down now rapidly. This is not as high as it was. So I, I warned them, there it was. I warned them when it was only a sheet, a little bit of flow, and there it is, now it's evened out. There it is evening out. There's some pumps could not handle that, there was no way. You guys at least get the warning. I was here yesterday and I told uh, one of the residents that uh, the, the tides are going to be getting higher all week and I said this would happen. He didn't tell the building manager? I mean, uh, I, I spoke to... According to her, it's moving out. Yeah, oh. yeah, we don't live here. So. Oh, yeah, I, sp I spoke to him for a half an hour explaining that, uh, that these tides, have, these are, this, this tide is, you know, these are the highest tides of the year, really? but they're, they're exceeding expectations by a foot. They're not supposed to be this high. Wow. It's, yeah. And they're gonna get higher until over through the weekend. It'll be up to eight inches higher than this. It, yeah. <laughs> so here it is coming through here. It's not as bad as I thought. It's up to the undercarriage of the vehicles. Uh, it is not actually flooding maybe into the cabin of that one car, but it is still coming in even though this is lowering right now. We're about a half an hour past the high tide. So if anything, it actually might be lowering in there if the pumps are faster than this, but you can see what a difference an inch makes. You know, before it wasn't quite dumping into this one, it was dumping in over there, just a sheet. I said one inch more, and it'll, you know, it'll multiply that 200 to 500 fold, you know, because, you know, a, a millimeter to a full inch, you know, and then you take, you, you, you multiply the, the width times four. Look, at it's just, uh, there it is. I warned them, I said, and they apparently didn't get the warning. I talked to a dude for a while yesterday. Oh, the signs, but I didn't warn anybody. And it's just these are the facts. Oh, there's the pallet. There's the little sandbags. They're trying to use them right there. They're not really doing dick, you know, to stop that water. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, this what happens. This is where you don't want water. This is the, this elevator must be flooded out. It's probably off. Oh my God, it's working. Ooh, the sandbags are stopping it to some degree. We are getting a little reaction there from here to here. So I'm standing in, you know, beyond ankle deep to just flow into the sandbags here. I'm not gonna get in this elevator, but I'm gonna see if it looks like it's totally wet. Woo, look at that. A little bit of angle right there, it's saving the elevator. Nice. There's the water outside. There's the, there's the Miami Beach sea level right now. That is the Miami Beach sea level. I told them to warn everyone to get their cars out of the out of the garage down there because yesterday the tide was just high enough that it was leaking a little bit and I said by you know actually it was this morning at 6 a.m. and I said the, the next high tide tonight 6 6 30 this high tide I said it's gonna be an inch higher and that's gonna make it you know exponentially more flow going in there I and I, I thought they have the garage evacuated but they didn't listen they didn't, they didn't want to listen to my science you know, I told them this is not this is not random. This is predicted. These are these are tides. You know, there's a uh, it's, it's just it's public information to know what the tides are going to do. And this flooding happens every year here. I know, I know. And, and uh, but it's, it's getting worse. I mean, there's one car over there where the water is getting almost to the under of the car, like into the cabin of the car, like it's touching. That one's not quite as deep, but there's a car in there where it's touching the bottom. Is there? I mean, this building is too small to have an on-site manager, I guess, but 
if there was somebody who could warn everybody, like an email list or something like that, it'd be a good idea. Nice. There's the car up to the undercarriage over there. That is crazy. Oh, no dumping. Oh, you don't want to make a mess in there. No, no, nobody wants to make a mess in there. We pay too much to have a mess in there. Look at that. They're trying to pump it over the seawall over there, probably. How's that working out? Like I say, this is not two feet deep in here. This is not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Their pumps are, to some degree, keeping up. I mean, come on, this was just... Look at that, that's a fucking Ducati right there. Holy shit! <laughs> that's like a, I don't know how expensive that is, but that's like a, that's, that's way more expensive than your average crack rocket. Whoever owns this Ducati is not going to be happy about that. That's an expensive bike. Wait, he's not in the water, but, but, but that's going to ruin, that's going to damage. Yeah? I was here yesterday warning them to tell everyone to get, get these cars out of this garage. Because uh, the just know better too. I know this morning at 6 a.m. it just barely leaked into the garage. And I said guaranteed the, tides, yeah. the next 20 tides are gonna be worse. This is not even the highest tide. The highest tides are this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get higher. It could be eight inches higher than this by the weekend. Eight inches higher than this. Okay. What building is it? Well no, I don't I don't even live here. I'm down here documenting the, the thing. I came down for the hurricane and for the king oh, tides. Really? Uh, yeah, this is a calendar event. I mean, it's, awesome. this is not random stuff. Oh, I, know, I, know. I know. The 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 cause of the flooding is uh, the high tides. Oh really? Yeah, it's the ocean. It's it's multiple. It's multiple. It's. Uh, Many factors, the, the, the ocean level is slowly rising, yeah. but on top of that, we've been having tides that are exceptionally high. Right now, the, these are supposed to be the highest tides of the year, called the king tide, because the way the sun, the moon, the tides uh, work. Uh, but for the past few days, they've been exceeding the expectations by about a foot. So even yeah. this is a foot, yeah, this is not the king tide. The, king, the actual highest tide is this weekend. It, it might be six to eight inches deeper than this. Weekend. Yep, yep. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday are, are the yeah. predicted highest tides. So it's an astronomical high tide. Right. But it's it's been higher and also uh, usually this time of year you get the higher pressure, the, the cooler air, but it's, it's still pretty humid and there's rain so there's low pressure and that brings the oceans up more. So the, lots right. of factors. It's been an east wind and then other than that they don't know. They think it's because the Gulf Stream is slowing down. Uh, but anyway, the, 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 I mean, the, the sea level rise in Miami Beach is happening, not only is it more critical here because we're low, it's happening faster here than it is in most other places. Right. In the, it, well, why is it flooding here and, and not anywhere else? Or? Well, the thing is, they're, what they're doing is spending hundreds of millions to, to uh, implement pumps. So yeah. these, these sewers aren't hooked up to it yet, so it just uh -huh. it comes out of the drains. And the, the seawall down there on the canal, that, that seawall leaks badly, and they're trying to raise it, but it's still leaking. But over there, they have power. They're literally gushing thousands of gallons per second out into the bay, just trying to shove it back out there really? as quick as it comes in. So it's not like it's a passive drainage system. It's, it's actively being pushed out. Yeah. I know, because if you go right to uh, where this hotel, on that corner, that drain is taking in water. It's coming out down there on, a, on Bay Street toward the north end, running down the road and going into those drains. So if anything, that should save this weekend. It might not get that much higher. As, as soon as it reaches the active drains, that should be able to take in all the excess water. Uh -huh. But we'll see, because with the high tide, the highest tide is eight inches higher than this. I'm not sure the drains will even be able to handle that, you know, because yeah. last year, the, 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 the pumps were, were active last year. They installed them a few years ago and they're still installing more. But last year, there was an extreme flooding here because of a, an extra powerful moon. It, it passed closer than it usually does. And that's that- a, It's almost full moon now. Right, right yeah, the yeah. full the, when the full moon, that's the, that's the highest predicted tide. Uh -huh. And so like I say, this is not even the highest. Do you know how deep it is? I need to get into my building. If that's your building, the... Uh, the, the uh, I just want to know what I'm stepping in. Salt water. Okay, but how deep? Uh, Should it, I take it, my shoes off? Uh, I mean, they're flip-flops. I'm walking through it. It wasn't more than my ankles. Sometimes the flip-flops make you... In your garage, in the garage, your garage is leveling out. It's getting... No, I don't need to go... Right. I would go straight in there and straight up the stairs because if you go down, there's water in the lobby too. 
but uh, it, uh, like I say, step away from the curbs because the curbs are where it's deepest, uh, where the road goes down. Wow. Yep. So if you if you go straight that way, then you get to jump to the sidewalk before it gets deeper over there, and then okay. try that. Ah, it's not gonna hurt you. I feel sorry for people who live down there. Yeah. Yeah. 